How's it going guys? Slippery Jim here. Welcome back to the Dishong Tower Challenge here. Day 73 overnight. I made some more meds. So I now got six antibiotics up my sleeve. A few more med kits and stuff like that. So I used up most of the sham sandwiches and stuff to make um, those. And I'm still waiting on my aloe vera plant over here to grow. It's uh, slowly getting there, I think. But um, today what I want to do, because we can't really do any looting um, until this, uh, this evening, we're going to go down and loot this room here, uh, along with the rest of level 13 at some point today. But uh, I thought we would tinker around a little bit uh, with uh, this thing here, the generator bank. So I did find this uh, looting uh, a few days ago now. And uh, you can hook this up to stuff and uh, power them uh, with electricity. So I thought we'd tinker around a little bit with this. I'm going to take this wire tool as well. Um, and there's um, there's a few things you can make to use this with. So I'm going to need some uh, some fuel can here for the generator. So I'll just take a take a bunch of that. Um, and I'm also going to need a little bit of forged iron, some electrical parts, and um, stuff like that. Just been um, forging up some extras there. So um, what I can actually make with these is um, some... Let's have a look here. Where are they? Electric fence post. <laughs> And uh, for these, you basically wire up two of them to shock your enemies, it says. So all these are made with is forged iron and electrical parts, which I can get fairly easily. So I thought I'd craft a few of these up and we'll go down and um, in the lobby, we'll set up, set these up. Maybe where the ramp trap is. Um, looks like I do need to know... Let's have a look here. I think I need to level up one of my skills for this. Let's have a look here. Um, yeah, we can craft some of this stuff here, but um, I'm going to need advanced engineering three, I think, to make electric fences. So let's buy that. And now we should be able to craft a few of these. Let's have a look here again. Electric... There we go. We'll make um, we'll make maybe three of these just to test them out to begin with, and if they're um, effective, we might incorporate these into the design of the ramp down in the lobby area. So um, yeah, I think that would be pretty cool. I'm not sure if we need some of this other stuff here. I guess I'll make a relay. Uh, I don't really see why I would need a timer, so we're not going to worry about that. But um, yeah, let's just wait for this stuff to craft up. And um, we're going to go down, clear the building of zombies, and then we're going to play around and set up some electric fences and see see what they're like against the zombies. Um, do you reckon I'll need a trigger? A switch? Um, maybe? <laughs> I haven't really played around with uh, the electrical stuff too much in the past. Um... But maybe we'll um, maybe we'll see what we can do with this stuff. So I'm gonna get some more of these. Um, grab the engine. So that's my spare engine. I'm gonna need that for the generator, I think. And uh, that should just about be everything that we need. I'll make the switch as well, just in case that comes in handy. Um, I'm not sure if we can turn things on and off with the generator itself or if we need a switch for some reason. Cool. So yeah, let's head on down and we're going to check for zombies on the way down. I'm just going to flip these up here as my safety setup there. And uh, we'll go down and see if there's any zombies. Um, just wondering if I've forgotten anything. I think I've got everything I need. Hopefully. Okay, let's just clear level 13 here to begin with. This is, uh, we're going to be able to come back and loot this later on today. Which is going to be awesome because there's a lot of good loot spots, especially in the, um, in that, um, panic room area. 
I think there's any zombies there on level 12. Let's just check. Um, not in there, I don't think. Usually if they're not there at this, in that first area, they're not, they're not in the whole floor. So might be fairly quiet still today. Still early in the day. Let's just check in here. See if there's any out here as well. Oh, yep. We've got a couple of construction workers snoozing. Oh, we got a vulture as well. Okay, let's take him out. Nice. <laughs> oh, crap. Don't have, uh, don't really have the uh, room to back up here if I get in trouble. So, um, one vulture and two construction workers, huh? I think I knocked the vulture off the side, though. It's down there somewhere. Oh, well. I've got a fair few uh, feathers already, so. Let's have a look back here. No. Okay, uh, any more zombies back here? Sometimes they'll just spawn out on the gantry and nowhere else on the floor itself. It's like it's a separate zone or something. Okay, let's just um, check around here. I think it's all clear. So we'll head down. We'll head downstairs. Um, anything in here? I don't think so. Got a tiny bit of lag there, so maybe there's some zombies spawning in somewhere. Block that off there. What have we got? Any zombies in here? Nope. None in quick queues though. They'll probably spawn in later, later in the day. Some of these floors. What usually happens? Don't think we've got any here in uh, Mole's Gym either. What about out here on the gantry? No. <laughs> Worth checking, I guess. Let's see if there's any construction workers on this floor. Fairly quiet today. Don't know if there's any down there in the offices. Let's just go have a look real quick. Didn't look like there was, so we'll just skip that floor. Uh, <laughs> I couldn't see any. Oh, here we go. Got some. Oh, hello. Nice. 10 9mm rounds. Oh, the head explosion. We got any more zombies back here? Let's have a look. I can hear a zombie somewhere. Oh, <laughs> there he is. He might have been the zombie that I could hear, but I don't know if there's any more back here waiting for me. So we're probably all good. Just a quick early morning. Clear of the building, and uh, then we'll we'll head on down. And uh, yeah, I don't think there's any more back here. We'll head on down, and uh, we'll start tinkering around, setting up some electric fences. Hopefully, we get some zombies that we can uh, test them on as well. Okay. So no zombies down here either at the moment, which is good. So yeah, I've never really um, used the electric fences and stuff like that before, so I'm, I'm going to have to figure it out as I go along. Um, <laughs> I have used some of the other traps before, but uh, not really the electric, the electric fences. Um... I guess we've got to put the generator somewhere safe. Um, let's have a look. I was thinking of putting it maybe back here so I can operate it from inside the safety cage, but I don't know where, exactly where I want this. Um, somewhere safe, because I've only got one of these, and plus it's going to have an engine inside it. Um, both pretty 
useful. Looks like that's not going to fit right there. Probably because of the bars being on the inside of that block. Um, where can I put this? It's got to be in a fairly protected spot. Can't really put it back there either. Um, hmm. It looks like it will actually place upside down on the ceiling if I can find a spot for it inside the cage here. That would probably be uh, like right up high behind the bars, like um, where this, this concrete beam is right here. I might be able to actually um, remove this. All right, so it took a while with the stone hatchet, but we got there in the end, and uh, I should be able to place this generator up here. Hopefully it goes upside down. Places on the ceiling for me. Like that, but maybe that way, yeah. Let's put it there. Perfect, look at that. So, I just need to make sure it's protected on the outside, though, from cops. Um... Vomit and all that stuff. Um, so yeah, we'll put an engine, the engine in it. And I think you can put multiple engines in to give it even more power and stuff like that. But we shouldn't need that much. I don't know if it makes it more fuel efficient, maybe with more engines as well. But uh, let's put some fuel in here as well. So it takes a thousand, thousand gas. Um, so I probably want to put some iron bars in front of it there and like, let's go see if we've got some, I usually keep that sort of thing in the chest over here for repairing. I've got two iron bars here. Okay. <laughs> I can always craft more if I need to. So I'm just going to maybe continue the um, the bars along the top in front of it there. Hopefully, I might, I might have to put the bars on the outside of the block instead of on the inside like the other ones are. So it actually fits there. Actually, that looks like it's going to go there perfectly. And we'll put another one below it, I think, just in case... I might end up coming up with a better, more protected system than this, but for now, I think this will do. If I put, um, put another set of bars underneath here. Yeah, the top row of bars is actually on the outside of the block, which works out perfectly for this. Okay, there we go. Hopefully that protects us a little bit. There's a little gap in the side there that, that's got me a little bit worried, but we'll see. We'll see how we go with it like that so far anyway. All right. So now um, I'm going to set up the, uh, the electric fence posts. And I guess we're going to want to have them along the edge here of the... Uh, of the ramp. This is where the zombies come up here and then we can uh, electrify them. And uh, yeah, do a bit more damage to them along with the spikes and everything else. I might have to remove this though to place one of the electric fence posts here like that. And um, I guess I'll put another one on the end here. Uh, I might need to put a wedge right at the end here. Let's make a couple of these. Um, yeah, should work. <laughs> Just experimenting right now. We'll figure we'll figure out the most efficient way to do things after we've tested this out. 
Okay, so hopefully that... Hopefully that's going to be okay right there. And we can put another one on the other side as well. Let's just upgrade this all the way. Because if this block gets destroyed, then the whole fence post is going to get destroyed. I imagine. Um, I don't have any concrete on me right now, but let's just upgrade them as much as we can with what we have here. And uh, let's see. So I should be able to attach the wire to this, right? And then if I put another fence post over here. Oh, I can hear a zombie. <laughs> Sounds like there's some zombies outside. So that should... Oh, look at that. Interesting. Okay, so I guess we have to connect those up to the actual generator now to power them, right? Oh, hang on. This power source cannot have a parent connection. Um, yeah, so I was trying to figure out how to get these to hook up to the generator. Um, and I think they just need to like, you just need to start the lead at the generator, I think. It's uh, kind of directional if that that makes any sense. Um, the power only flows in one direction. I think that's how it works. Um, but I'm going to put a third... I'm going to put a third electric fence post right here as well. So we can zap them the whole way along the uh, the ramp here. It's kind of, that kind of looks weird, but okay. It uh, seems to... Uh, Seems to go there, so um, then we should just just be able to hook these up, right? So hook that one up to that. So those uh, those three posts are connected. Um, now I just need to connect the um, the generator itself to the posts. So I didn't really like it when I was trying to do that after hooking the fence posts up by themselves. Um, let's see. Maybe I should use the um, the relay. I did put this switch over here, but <laughs> I don't think that's gonna. I don't think that's. Uh, I don't think that's gonna be useful in this situation so okay there we go and then okay that's connecting there you see that 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 actually connected that time so i think now we have to go from that one over to this one and then it disconnects the other one okay and then from that one to this one so so the electricity is all going in one direction i think i think that's that's the method here so theoretically that should all be connected up and all we have to do is turn it on to electrify it. Let's try this out here. Nice. Okay. Is it actually electrified? This is the question. Maximum output 50 watts. Should be more than enough juice. Oh God. Yep, def <laughs> it's definitely working. All right, I'm glad that didn't kill me. Um, so it's sort of like when you get the electric shock if you try and break uh, a vending machine in this game. It, it gives you the same effect. Uh, I don't know if that's going to work in that, in that position though. We've got some zombies outside. I'll try and attract them in and see if, see if it, uh, see if it's gonna do any damage to them. See if we can attract them with a bit of jumping around and uh, whatnot. Come on, zombies! Usually, jumping sort of attracts them, but. Okay, where are they? Back here somewhere? Okay, there's Big Mama back there. 
Okay, yeah, we've got a few. They'll make their way. They'll make their way over here. Um, then we'll test them out on the trap. See how effective it's going to be. I have my doubts, actually, with the, the positioning of those posts. I might have to tweak that, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Come on in. Okay. see if we can give her a bit of a bit of an electric shock hopefully she's gonna come up the ramp What's that guy doing down there it's just smashing on the building okay right, she's super slow what the, what is she? <laughs> she she missed the ramp and came straight towards me there for a second she going up it? I think she is. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it is having absolutely no effect. Uh, hmm. Yeah. I guess they need to physically touch the wire for it to work, which makes sense. I guess. Uh. So we'll have to reconfigure this. Let's turn this off for now, anyway. Just uh, finish off the rest of these zombies. There we go. Wow. <laughs> you think I'd get? You think I'd be better at uh, using the club by now? Yeah, I think I might have to crisscross the wires or something. Man, this took damage already. In fact, I might actually remove this one and uh, just put a. Hey! <laughs> Probably should clear out the zombies first, eh? Hey? Bleeding! Need to use a bandage. Uh, where are my bandages? Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out uh, a better way. Better way to set up these uh, fence, these fence posts. Is there another zombie back there? Uh, anyway, let's see what we can come up with here. Um, so what I'm thinking is, if we try to um, put posts on both sides of the main uh, corridor, if you like. Um, like this, and then I could put another couple down the bottom here. But uh, basically, I'm going to try and crisscross the um, the electrical wire between the two posts on either side, right? Um, I really need to put some more of these here to support these um, fence posts right here. Because I think putting the posts on that um, ramp at the bottom, that's where the zombies actually, that's actually where they walk up. So it's likely to take more damage down there. Let's just upgrade these a little bit here. Yeah, like that. That should be fine. Hopefully. Okay. <laughs> so... Let's um let's try and work this out and figure out how we want this to work. So that one that goes to that one. Um let's unclip it there. So we want to go. We want to go from that one there. Just unclip that. Oh hang on. <laughs> I don't know if I'm unclipping it or, but yeah, let's just try and go across. If I can, um, how do I get that one detached? Well, it's giving me another wire. Okay, if we go across there, let's see here. And then, basically, okay, these are really weird to work with. <laughs> it's kind of, uh, it's kind of hard to figure out. 
how to get them to go exactly where you want them to go. So ideally I'd want to want them to go straight across and then zigzag. But I don't know if that's well I mean that would sort of work. But oh I need to put another post right here. Let's put this one right here. Uh, okay, so can I come from maybe that one to that one and then to this one? Alright, that's sort of okay. I kind of want to have one straight across the end. Um, like... Okay, this is, <laughs> I'm just clicking the post and hoping it, hoping we get lucky with the configuration here. That's not too bad actually like that. Um, then we just need these ones connected. If I can come back off this one, five watts, all right. Then down to that one, yeah. Sort of. Ideally, I'd like to have uh, wires between the posts as well, but I don't know if it's going to work like that in terms of how these connect. I think I've screwed it up now a little bit. Uh, oh, actually, yeah, that's... I really do want it to, to go across here at the end, though. Um... Just doesn't want to do it for me though. If we do this crisscross section here as well. <laughs> There's probably a smart way to do this, but uh, I don't know. I'm just, uh, I just fiddle with things until they work. Um, probably takes like five times longer than uh, if, where you, when you know what you're doing, I guess. <laughs> Well, that's not too bad. Um, we can test that out anyway. If I connect this up to there again. Um, I keep getting that error. Maybe I should put the... Um, maybe I should put a relay up there. You know what I mean? Because... That might help make it easier to attach the um, the wire. Let's put a let's put a relay up. Let's put it maybe there. That'll do. Yep. And then if we connect the generator to the relay and the relay to the fence posts, I don't think it'll let me. Unless I'm. There we go. Doesn't like the bars too much. And then connect that one. Oh, a little bit, little bit too low. There we go. And then from there to there. Beautiful. Look at that. That is awesome. All right. So again, we're really just experimenting with this. And uh, I'm going to see how effective it is. And then if, if it seems like it's pretty good, I'll figure out a better, more efficient way of doing it. But um, for now, let's just... I think this is definitely going to work, though, on the zombies. Because they'll have to touch the wires as they come through this area. Yes, that's perfect. Almost perfect right there. Okay, now we just need some zombies. It's looking pretty good, though. I should probably upgrade um, some of the wooden blocks to concrete. But anyway, let's turn this back on. We, oh, we've got another zombie over here. Steve, buddy, come over here. <laughs> I've got a surprise for you. Hopefully he's going to go up the ramp for me. Let's 
going up the ramp. Is he going up the ramp? Steve! What are you doing? He's not the smartest. He's not the smartest zombie in the horde. Okay, I think he's going up there now. Maybe. He knows. He knows it's a mistake. Here we go. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. It's going to be interesting to see how quickly it kills him. Because it didn't do a lot of damage to me. But I really like how it stuns them like that. Like, it really slows them down. Pretty much makes them come to a standstill. Oh, and now he's dead. Combination of the spikes and the, uh, the electric fence there. Okay, so that setup is working. I'm just a little bit worried about how durable the fence post will be. If, uh, for example, we use this against um, the next... Horde Knight, but uh, I might actually make a chest here as well, just for storing some, like, fuel and stuff like that. Um, where can I put this? I'd probably like to put it the same sort of place as I put the generator, but on the other side, maybe, just for symmetrical, uh, symmet symmetry? <laughs> I think that's the word. <laughs> I really wish I brought a better pick than this. I was going to be doing this. Anyway, there we go. Um, so we'll put the chest in there, I think. Hopefully that's going to be in a safe spot where it's not going to get destroyed. And we'll put the fuel in there and um, some of the electrical stuff, I guess. Um, I don't know if I'm going to use all those relays. <laughs> we probably don't need them. Yeah, it's probably all good. I have to be careful now because it's past 10 o'clock, so the zombies are all going to be sprinting. But, um, I wouldn't mind a few more zombies actually test this out a little bit further. I think that's looking pretty good. I don't think the zombies will be able to damage the generator too much unless I get a lot of cops or something like that. And I guess I can remove this switch. I was thinking about using this to turn it off and on, but I realized I can just do that at the generator, so... There's no real need for that. Yeah, maybe we'll try this out at the next Horde Night, instead of using the pit. It might be a bit of fun, just to see... Just to see how good it is. It might uh, allow us to kill the zombies um, easier. You know, if they're all electrified and they're like just stuck there getting electrified, I can just nail them in the head with arrows and stuff. Um, anyway, I might uh, upgrade the rest of the, uh, the ramp here to concrete. I don't want these blocks getting destroyed here and then the fences getting destroyed because uh, pretty much if one of these posts gets taken out it's gonna it's gonna um, it's gonna break the whole or half the circuit at least awesome. Okay, so it's um <laughs> very early morning. I can hear this. Oh, we've got some zombies down here. I did not notice they'd spawned in. So we actually have a feral white over there. Um, let's test <laughs> let's test out the uh the electric fence system on this feral white. Let's see how it, this is one of the toughest zombies in the game. So this will be interesting. Mind you, I did shoot it in the head one time already, so it's going to be a little bit weaker. Okay, it's definitely still working on him. I'm just going to let it do its thing and uh, we'll see how long it takes to kill them. 
<laughs> They're still not really getting past the first, uh, first section. Oh, he's dead. And the construction worker at the same time. So yeah, they didn't really get past the first uh, one or two uh, sections of fencing. And we haven't used that much fuel either, really. It's pretty efficient on the fuel. Alright, I'm going to head it back up to the rooftop. I'm trying to be stealthy here though, because it is 2am and I really don't want hordes of sprinting zombies chasing me up the stairs if I can help it. Make sure we've got some caffeine going as well, some uh, stamina regen. Level 13, that's right, I was going to loot that, but uh, we'll loot that tomorrow, I think. Oh, it sounds like we've got some zombies. <laughs> sounds like there's some zombies coming. That's weird, I didn't see any. But we've definitely, it sounds like we might even have, uh, oh, we've got a cop back there. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, boy. Uh... <laughs> Run away! Oh no, please don't destroy. Please don't destroy everything up here. <laughs> I'm gonna try and keep them away from my main... from my main base. Try and take this cop out here. I'm bleeding as well. Oh boy, he's gonna blow up. Oh, we got him. I think we got him before... before he blew up, which is just as well. Wow. That was a uh, that was pretty intense little zombie squad there that came up the stairs after me. Um, well, I guess I'm gonna have to repair that little area around um, around the entrance there. Let's get some concrete going, and uh, we'll go back and repair that. Alright guys, welcome back to Dishong Tower, day 74, and I'm just fiddling around a little bit here with the uh, the electric fence set up, trying to get the most number of crisscrossing wires possible. Um, I don't know if I've really improved much here, but anyway, we'll figure it out. Um, but... Today we're going to do some more looting, so uh, we still have our final floor left to loot level 13, and uh, it's pretty much the floor with the best loot, mainly due to the uh, the loot room um, that we can access from the rooftop. Um, just going to see if there's any zombies out there today. Seems pretty quiet though. I think we've got any down here either. Make sure I've got my uh, bandages in my in my um, hot bar there. <laughs> anyway, let's head upstairs here and uh, I'll repair that a little bit. Yeah, we'll just check a few floors on the way up. See if there's any zombies, but most of the time when I'm checking like fairly early in the morning, there's no, not that many zombies around yet. See how we go. And then, uh, then we'll start looting again. So I believe I have to wait until late afternoon to loot the actual panic room area. Um, but main level 13, I should, oh, we have got zombies in here. Alrighty, office worker zombies. You sound like feral. There we go, dealt with. These are just normies here. Why is my aim so bad again today? Alright. Very noisy those two zombies. Have we got any more back here? Lately they've been spawning just in small groups. I think it's because of the um, 
position of my land claim block, but um, I don't want to fool around too much with that. Because, uh, yeah, disasters can happen. I haven't been bothering with um, buying the cheap canned goods from the vending machines lately because, well, it looks like we got a feral. Beautiful. Because um, I've been getting enough tin cans for Molotovs um, just from looting lately. So I figure I'll just, I'll just wait and save up my dukes. And then when we really need more cans, we'll go through and start buying the cheap ones again. Because we shouldn't have too many problems. At least for a while. When it comes to tin cans. Okay, so far so good. Have we got any construction workers again here today? Probably going to be empty by the looks of it. At least this morning. I don't think there's any zombies in there. I remember the first time I came up and explored this floor and there, there was that false floor. That was, uh, that was a real troll there. Okay, we have zombies here in Mole's gym. Let's take, let's take this guy out. Oh boy. There we go. Oh, another loot bag here. Oh, we got a pistol. And we got some more pistol ammo. It's not too bad. Oh, boy. Oh, crap. <gasps> There's more zombies there than I thought there was. I'm okay, though. I'm okay. Still got a fair bit of health left. No need to panic. <laughs> We've got a lot of ferals, though. <laughs> Okay, let's uh, take a shortcut through here. Is that? Oh, we still got some. Wow, there's. What was I just saying about them only spawning in small groups? I guess that room has a lot of zombie spawns in it, though. It's kind of designed so that you're meant to fall through the ceiling into that room and be trapped and killed by the zombies in there. I think that's. I think that's the idea behind that room. Uh, yeah. Wow. 15 bullets out of that pistol. That's pretty good. I don't think there's, uh, there's a vulture right there. One shot. Nice. Looks like we're getting feathers today. Oh, there's another one here. <laughs> and we've got a construction worker back there as well. I think I've got time to uh, defeather the vulture. Are you're done. Pretty sure he's dead. <laughs> Just making sure. All right, and hopefully we've cleared this floor now. Yeah, I thought I'd bring the uh, the SMG because it's got the silencer on it. Can be useful in certain situations, but it's probably not quite as good as the shotgun for uh, getting yourself out of trouble. Might as well go through and check the rest of the floor here, but doesn't look like there's any more zombies. <laughs> Alright, pretty much uh, no more zombies in the rest of the building. So we are up here on level 13, just giving it a quick once over. And uh, let's start looting here. Oh, 11 coal. You guys have no idea how happy that makes me. Uh, coal, is, coal is a precious commodity. In Dishong Tower, it's uh, it's more precious than gold, to be honest. Uh, ooh. Pet food is always welcome. What else we got here? A pot. Okay, five, seven, six, two rounds under the sink, because, yeah, that's where you keep your ammo in real life. Right next to the dishwashing liquid. Uh, we got a, we got a green dye there. 
cool. I think I've got all the dyes I need right now, though. Scrap that. Get rid of that. Yeah, most of this floor, there's not actually that much loot on it, to be honest. Except for that one... <laughs> The one big loot room. That's, um... That's pretty much the ultimate spot for looting in this building. Which is fitting, because it's like right at the top. So it's like you have to battle your way up. Get to it. Kind of makes sense. Nothing in the shower, we got a toilet here. I think there used to be a bed here, but we uh, destroyed it. I think it was this this room. Sort of not exactly a room because it's got a wall missing, but once upon a time it used to be a room. Ooh, magazine. Those magazines have come in handy. They are quite useful for um, certain buffs and things like that. Or giving you an extra skill point in areas that you need for, uh, for a short period of time. Oh, we've got a challenge. The Maneater Challenge from the Crazy Jake Clan. Huh. I wonder if it's worth... Do you reckon it's possible to do this? Kill some male zombies. Where is this located? Oh, it's over there. I was hoping it would be inside the building, but... Let's just cancel the quest. If I can. <laughs> Can we cancel this? There we go. Don't want to have it on my screen for the rest of the playthrough, that's for sure. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I guess they're in random locations. So, I mean... I'm not sure if it would give me a quest inside Dishong Tower somewhere. It's probably pretty unlikely, right? It'd be good if they did, though, because you can get some pretty cool rewards out of those. Mostly it's just XP, though. More tin can. Tin can action. What we got here? Oh, nine. Wow, we got 20 coal now. I think that's enough to make two springs. And uh, springs are important for some of the weapon attachments and things like that. More tin cans. Every tin can counts. <laughs> Every little scrap of loot we can uh, we can use most of the time, some way or other. Make a couple more of these. Alright, what else have we got? Uh, nothing here. I think that's just about it. Except for the, um, except for the panic room. I don't think there's any more loot through here. This is all empty. Sometimes you get vultures spawning out there. Don't know if I can... Uh, we've got a trash pile here. Some more paper. Don't think I can loot that. And that's pretty much it, I think. Oh, we've still got a couple of... <laughs> Still got a couple of candy tin landmines back here. Oh! 
<laughs> Let's play this one, other one up here as well. Nice. Imagine if the whole, like, top floor collapsed because I did that. All my tree farm falls off the side of the building. I wouldn't really be happy if that happened. Okay, so we do have to wait a little while until we can um, loot the uh, the panic room. I think I think I originally looted that in the evening. Okay, I've just been putting away all of the loot from level thirteen, and uh, then we might harvest some of the garden. Let's put this away. In fact, I do want to check and see if the aloe's grown as well. Looks like it has. Nice. So, um, we want to get as much of that as we can from harvesting. Let's just see how many crops we get. If we harvest this, that gives me four goldenrod. So we should get four aloe out of that. I wonder if I should spend some skill points here on... Um, Harvesting crops. I can't remember. Can't remember what it's called, but there's definitely a skill here somewhere for harvesting. Um, I know there's a separate one for the trees. What would it be under? Let's have a look here. Skull crusher. Perception, Lucky Looter, I know it's here somewhere, it's definitely, uh, definitely one of these, we, we've got Mother Load, that's for mining, ah, living off the land, this is what I wanted, so yeah, harvest five items from planted crops, level five baby, nice. So we've still got two skill points, but we might save those up. Um, I really want to get this. That requires strength level 10. So maybe we'll save up uh, three points for the next le level of strength. Okay. So the next skill point that we get, we'll, uh, we'll probably put in a strength to try and get up to, the, to skill crush, skull crusher level 5. <laughs> Um, there's some really good skills here for, uh, for combat, but, uh, yeah, we've only got this two skill points at the moment, so we're a bit, bit limited. Um, anyway, we should be able to, um, harvest this now and get five, five aloe leaves out of that, and then we should be able to craft this into some aloe seeds. Um, usually I need some, um, uh, soil. Some of the seeds require clay soil and some of them don't. Okay, this is just straight up aloe leaves. Awesome. And we have one left over. <laughs> so I guess we'll save that up. And, uh, we can replant one of these anyway. Put it right here. Nice. Slowly, our crop of aloe is going to grow. Let's just harvest the rest of these. And then we'll do the trees as well. Alright, it's time guys. We're going to loot the panic room down here. There's so much loot in here. It's pretty crazy. It's, it's Let's loot this hardened chest first. Oh, what do we got here? We got a bunch of shotgun ammo. That is going to come in super handy. Let's check this other one over here. Oh, we got a polymer string mod for the bow. That's actually super useful. Arrows fly quicker and further. That's pretty nice. I really needed some upgrades for my, for my bow. And we've got a trigger group as well. Fire semi-auto only. 
So, okay. That might be good on something like um, the Marksman Rifle, I guess. Just to give it a little bit more damage. What we got in the reinforced chests? A Marksman Rifle and a Weapon Flashlight. Sweet. Installs into any firearm or crossbow. That's interesting. Paper. <laughs> well, at least it wasn't empty. Just about every time I go to loot one of those suitcases, they're empty. Let's grab some of this stuff here. Got five bullets out of that marksman rifle. So we should be able to put the uh, the string straight on this. 45 damage now. Wow, that's pretty significant. That's, uh, that's a pretty awesome uh, upgrade, actually. I'd like to get a few other bow upgrades. Let's just check this. This has got the... Um Oh no, this has already got, yeah, this has already got the uh, max number of um, upgrades on it. But we could take the silencer off this because the silencer actually reduces the damage. And then if we put this on, we get 41 damage, which is actually pretty cool. That's per bullet in a, in a SMG. That's pretty decent. 41 with the flashlight. We don't really need the flashlight too much for illumination because I've got my um, mining helmet, but still pretty cool. Nice. <laughs> this thing is fully tricked out now. Uh, yeah, I like it. So we could put the silence silence on something else, I guess. 41, although it is good for the occasional stealth kill, I guess. Maybe I could take the sight off and put the silencer on. I'm not, because I don't really like this sight. The sights are kind of clunky in this game. Like this, this one obscures your vision more than anything. Uh, some more sham sandwiches. Always good for antibiotics crafting. Oh, interesting. Meat stew. It's one of the best... One of the best meals you can get. Apart from the really fancy exotic ones. Potato. <laughs> Get rid of that. Got plenty of potatoes. Some more polymer. Look at the fancy gold fittings they've got up here. Uh, what else we got here? Some cabinets. Very good. We've got some um, some of the more exciting stuff over here to loot, though, like the hidden stash. Oh, my God. We just got a purple marksman rifle. That is amazing. That is sweet. So, uh, yeah. That's pretty cool. We can put a bunch of uh, mods on that now and uh, try that out. Um, during the Horde Night, I guess. It's got a um, fair bit of dur durability on it, too. I really want to get a purple AK now. <laughs> that, that would really, like, um, complete the... Um... Oh, what's this? 
Weighted head schematic. I might already have one of those, I can't remember. Not really useful for me because I'm not using the um, heavy melee weapons. Like the sledgehammer or whatever. They're just too slow. Automatic weapons magazine. Glass jars. Okay, what do we got left? I think we've got couple couple of boxes up here. Oh, ergonomic grip. Decreases melee stamina usage by 10% and increases weapon handling of bows. So that's another bow mod. And we get two compound bows. Let's just uh Let's just put this on. So that brings our damage up to 50. Wow, this bow is actually pretty decent now. And we've still got two empty modifier slots on it. I don't even know what other mods would go on it, really. Um, okay. What do we got left here? We've got the laundry baskets. We get a little uh, little hat. <laughs> Let's get rid of that. Um, I already checked this one. Um, suitcase. Oh. Nice chunk of ammunition there. So I think that's just about it for this floor. But, uh... Yeah, I think we've uh, looted everything in here. So uh, I think we got pretty lucky, though. We got a couple of mods for the bow. We got uh, the purple marksman rifle. So pretty happy with that. Tons of ammo. But uh, we are going to have to wait another 30 days before we can start learning again to try and find the remaining headlights we need for the gyrocopter. So it's going to be like day 100 something. <laughs> Don't even want to think about it. Anyway, that's it for today, guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Slippage your mouth.